Yo, Elliot, just wanted to follow up from the last time. Ever since I started working construction, I've been picking up bad habits like drinking two beers a day and overeating at times. Although I enjoy what I do, I don't see any room for growth in the current position and company that I'm in. I'm learning skills that I can use for the house, but the situation doesn't advance me. I really don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but the money doesn't make ends meet either. And I'm networking while I'm at work and developing good relationships with carpenters, electricians, and plumbers. I know I've committed to being here for a year, but I was wondering if I can open up other opportunities while I'm here without reaching too much. Thank you for your perspective. Everything that you said right there is spot on, and you need to just sit with that. You just need to be with that. You're 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 literally like uh, you're you're standing on fertile soil. You're planting seeds, but you're curious why the trees aren't bearing fruit yet. Does that make sense? In other words, if you're standing on soil and you're putting seeds in the in in the soil, you got to wait. You got to wait. You got to take your time, and you got to sort of check out what's what's starting to grow around you pay very close attention to how the plants are growing how those seeds are becoming seedlings and if they're getting enough sun if they're getting enough water rather than saying where's my fruit where's my fruit and in a way you just got started like you said you we made an agreement or i i suggested and you agreed that you would make you sit this out for a year you would do this for a year you're starting to get listen you say, I enjoy what I'm doing. I'm learning skills. I'm meeting people. I'm developing good relationships. All these good things. The only piece, there's two pieces that you're, that you're dealing with that need to be dealt with. Number one, drinking the beers and overeating at time, not a big deal. Just fast, right? There's nothing that's real simple. Just say, okay, because I, I, I do that too. I don't drink beer. I drink wine. But there are times in my life, it seems like cyclical in, in, in the year where oh, I'm, I'm, I'm overeating. I do that. But you know what I do? Then I fast. I go back to the I go back to the altar from which I came. Right. This is Abraham. Right. Abraham falls off the path, but he always returns to the altar. Return to the altar. Return to the altar of fasting and prayer. Return to the altar of fasting in particular because it's about no consumption. That's not a big deal. You you having the habit of drinking two beers and overeating is not a good idea, but it's not a big deal. You just fix that. You know how to fix that. I don't even have to tell you. Just stop, right? And then you say you, say you see no room for growth, but that's not necessarily true. You do see room for growth. You're just not getting the fruits that you want right away. How do I know you do see room for growth? Because you're networking. You even said it. I'm developing good relationships with carpenters and electricians and plumbers. The more you have net, the, the bigger your network, the more people you're talking to, the more interactions you make, the more you can demonstrate your character, you could demonstrate your skills and your abilities, the more opportunities are available to you. So there is growth. You might not know exactly in what direction that growth is going to come. You might not know exactly what that fruit when it's bared is going to look like, right? I, you're still dealing with the seedlings, right? These are like one foot plants, right? That will turn into giant trees. They're just one foot plants. And you're going, well, I don't see, I don't see where this is going. There's no fruit on there yet. Patience. Patience. Patience is what I think is required for you in this particular time. You've been through a lot. I know you. You've been through a lot. You've picked up and you've moved a bunch of times. You've had jobs and you've lost jobs. You've tried, uh, you've tried businesses and you've failed at businesses. You, I mean, for the past two years that you've been here, I've watched you do a lot of different things. And once you finally landed where you are right now, my advice to you, and you agreed to stick it out. Don't get ADD. Don't get the ADD, right? Where you're thinking about trying to make about and do something about the future. That's getting distracted. You say right now ends aren't meeting, right? And that could be a problem, but it doesn't mean that it'll always be that way. But if you, here's another one. Here's just a little sort of an anecdote, I guess you could say. Uh, if you're wanting, or, or an analogy, if you're wanting to dig a well, right, let's say you know, you're, you're a well digger, or you know, there's, there's famine, and, and people are starving, and you're in an area where you, you need water, and you dig wells, 
if you start digging a well and you get right to about where the water, the aquifer is, and then you give up and say, ah, oh, man, there's no water here. Then you pick up and then you dig another well, you dig another hole and you get almost down to the aquifer and say, man, there's no water here. And then you pick up and you do it again. You're going to end up with a lot of halfway done wells rather than digging deep with one and hitting that aquifer. I think in a way that's what you'd be doing if you think too much right now and try to make, uh, try to pick up and dig a different well. You're digging this well. Keep digging this well until you hit water, bro. That's, I, I see that working out well for you, right? <laughs> no pun intended. I see digging that well working out well for you, but you got to be patient. And look, a lot of times in life, it's not about what we're doing and what we get, but it's about who we're becoming. And that's tough because it's sort of intangible, right? I know that it's very present to see my hands doing certain work or to be chopping at the computer or doing something or lifting something. So I'm very, it's very obvious what's going on. And then it's very obvious that, well, by me doing this, I'm going to get the paycheck at the end of the week. These are all very obvious things. But what nobody sees is the character growth that comes from patience, commitment, discipline, detachment, perseverance, all these things, self-denial, all these things that are required for you to humble yourself, humility, humble yourself and keep doing the thing that you're doing, faith, with faith that everything's going to work out real well for you. I just named about half a dozen virtues that are available by sticking out what you're doing right now. That's my opinion. My opinion is that you fast every once in a while so that you can break the habit of being around the guys that are drinking beers every day, right? Not to say that you need to be a monk. That's not the life you've chosen. So if you drink beers once in a while and overeat every once in a while, that's fine. But fast, check it and break it, right? And if you fall back into it, do the same, right? It happens to all of us. It's okay. You fall off the wagon. You get back on. It's really not even that serious. You're not like, you're not obese, first of all. So overeating is not that big a deal. It can be, but it's not that big a deal because you're not, it's not morbid for you. And you're not an alcoholic. Two beers a day is, look, I mean, it's not the greatest thing for you. I think drinking alcohol every day is, can, can, can be a little bad, but there are those who say, you know, that is good for you. I, but the bottom line is, I don't think it's going to destroy your life. I don't think you're going to become an alcoholic or becoming an alcoholic. So don't see those things as reasons why you need to upend your whole life, turn things over and do a whole different deal. Stick it out, stick it out, stick it out, be patient and see it to the end, bro. It's final perseverance that gets you home. And I think if you go with that attitude, you'll be all right, dude, done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.